Welcome to the virtual African lion training demonstration. Typically, we host these throughout the summer, but for safety precautions and for guest health, uh, we're doing this completely virtual this year. So before our star shows up, I'm gonna go over just some of the tools we use for training. First off is a clicker. You probably have all seen one of these before. It's a really, really easy thing to hear. This is really important to our animals because they all know this means they've got a big reward coming. So the moment they do something correct, they hear that click and that click tells them on the way is a delicious piece of chicken. This right here is called a target pole. It's a very simple, but a very important training tool. All of our animals are trained to follow it with their nose. It's a great tool that communicates to the animal where we want them to put their body. Cause a lot of training, especially for husbandry, which is uh, medical, is wanting them in different positions so we can take a look at their body. And last but not least, I'm using tongs uh, because African lions have 30 very large teeth and I love all my fingers. Let's go Quinn, come on bud. Hey, you. So almost all the behaviors I work on with Chester here is considered a husbandry behavior. And that allows him to take an active role in his own health care. So I always want, like I said, to have a positive relationship with him. So every time he follows me and every time he's calm with me, um, he's going to be rewarded for it. So this morning he's getting more of that raw chicken they love so much. And I'll show you how, that, how the target pull works. Target. Very good, bud. Hey, bud, down. So if you'll notice, when I ask him to lie down between this log and the mesh, his hips come pretty close to the side of the fence here. That's because we ask our animals to lean in when we give them their injections. And like I said, we want all of our behaviors to be voluntary. We want them to take an active role in their own health care. So we might do this outside or inside, but we train him to be comfortable squeezing himself in between two areas. And then he also has a relationship built with our veterinary staff who may come in and sit next to me. Um, and he knows that he's going to be touched by something. It might be a paper clip. Uh, it might be a syringe full of saline, or it might be a vaccination that he needs. But we work step by step with him to make sure that he's comfortable. Because if you've ever received a shot yourself, you know that there's a little bit of a poke of that needle. We want to make sure that even a 400 pound African lion is comfortable with that sensation and that he feels safe with us every step of the way. So we work with him and we utilize the cues that he gives up with his body language to know when to stop and when we can move forward. Our goal here is for him to go through an entire veterinary procedure and only focus on the rewards that he's getting and be comfortable with everything else that's going on around him. Good boy. Boy, come here. Up. Good boy. Good, down. Good job. Good, speak. That was a good one. So that behavior is called a captured behavior, which means I caught him in the act of doing it and I rewarded it. And because he is so intelligent, he made that connection of performing that behavior and getting a reward for it. I was eventually able to pair it with a cue, which asks him to do it at a specific time, and he knows he'll always receive something good for doing it. Target. Good job.